Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to Five Tools to Get Buyers to Sign Today. Hey, so excited to have you all with us today. I have a feeling we're going to have a pretty big crowd uh, in today's session. Here's what I would love from you guys. Uh, one, make sure I'm coming in loud and clear. So we need to uh, check on that. Two, uh, please let me know how long you have been in real estate. That's my question for you guys. I'd, I'd like for you guys to be interactive on this. We're going to work together on this program. How long have you all been in real estate? I'll start. Let me ask that question. What year did you start in real estate? Let me try that. Hey, let's do that better. 2014 is when I started uh, as a real estate agent. Uh, 2001. I've been in real estate business, uh, helping real estate agents since about 2001. And the reason I'm asking this question, y'all, is because um, some of you have been through um, a lot of stuff in this industry. Some of you have been through a stock market crash. Some of you guys were through 9-11. Some of you have gone through a couple of wars. Um, you got, Some of you have actually, like pay, my friend Paige, my friend Paige started real estate in 2007. Does anyone here remember what happened in 2008? <laughs> Tell me if you guys remember what happened in 2008, right? Yeah, big crash. We we saw that. So the, the, what I'm trying to get you guys to, to, to see here is that this is something that we've experienced before. We always experience change in this business. If you are new to real estate and um, you don't feel like... Um, you like change? Well, then maybe we need to think about another uh, type of, uh, of business because it is nothing but change. Um, I saw someone uh, put in there that they've been in real estate since uh, like they came in like 79. Maybe they left for a little while. I'm a child of real estate. My dad's a broker. He's still a broker. He's um, 87 years old, still a broker. Um, so I've seen a lot of changes. We can't be afraid of the changes. We have to embrace the changes. And in fact, I'm, I'm actually kind of excited uh, about this change. Is anyone here, um, anyone here excited about the change? And if you're not excited about the change, would you please let me know what it is that has you uh, not excited, a little concerned? I'll be honest, when this first happened, I, I was a little nervous. I was a little worried because I didn't quite understand what was going on but many of you are excited. So let's talk about why we should be excited. Well, one of the reasons we should be, and Rick's a little concerned, that's okay, Rick, you've been in this business for a little while and, and I'm sure you have you know, some, some things to be concerned about, but here's the reality, you all. The reality is, is that uh, people have always used real estate agents and they'll continue to do with real estate agents. Those of you that say, hey, I had some uncertainty and, and I'm a little worried, I'm a little uh, nervous. Were you in real estate when real estate technology came up, when listings showed up online? Were you all um, worried about that? Because what happened was we were, uh, we were um, told that we weren't needed any longer. We were told that our our, our uh, in the, the things that we provided could be found online. And we had a great coach say this uh, recently that, you know, you could go online and find out how to be a brain surgeon. But um, you could get all kinds of information, books, and, and Google it. But how many people are going to allow you to practice that, right? How many are going to allow you to, to, to form a practice for that? So, Let's know that the method of home purchase and this information right here is from the NAR 2023 Home Buyers and Sellers Generational Trends Report. And this is consistent over the years. If you guys are familiar with that, um, if you're not, take a look at it. Over the years, 86% of people have continued to use a real estate agent um, or a broker. Uh, we we have you know ten um, uh, bought from a previous owner um, and and then most of them knew the owner so there was there's some some um, there you know there's a few percentages in there of people not buying from a real estate agent but a majority of people um, are using a real estate agent and they're and they and they've been very pleased with us as we'll see in some of the other um, in the other 
the slides here. So next thing. All right. So how many of them have a written agreement? I'm going to ask you, you guys are being awesome, by the way. Thank you for being so um, uh, you're so interactive here. I would like to say, uh, how many of you are currently getting agreements? Before this happened, how many of you were grabbing agreements? Hilda, you're exactly right. Now is a great time to take market share from those slow adopters, right? And and Rebecca, I'm sorry, I don't have a way of allowing you all to, to talk in this session. So if you don't mind, just shoot me a chat um, in, in your question or your concern. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, so um, Mark says, yeah, I have a simple agreement. Um, Rick says, no, 80% um, of the time I have agreement. So one of the reasons you all that it's so important for us to continue to understand the power uh, of the agreement, even now, especially now, is because of our time. The time that we're spending and the time that we are, uh, and the expertise that we're providing to those buyers prior to, them finding that perfect home and us getting uh, uh, paid. So we have an opportunity now because like my friend Rick's here said, no, I don't, I don't always ask for an agreement. Well, now it's required. And, and this is going to make things a lot easier for us because sometimes we're driving people around, we're taking them 10, 12, 15, 20 houses. And we're just afraid to ask them that question when at any time, when at any, think about this, y'all, at any time, they could move on to someone else with no commitment to you. And that's why I started getting agreements made because I found that people weren't always, uh, they weren't always going to uh, commit to me the way that I was committing to them. So we already know 35% of buyers are already uh, getting agreements. Many of you are telling me you're already getting agreements. So you're, you're, you're uh, way more than halfway there. 18% said, yeah, I had an oral agreement. So, that 18%, there's a good percentage of them that probably would have had a written agreement had we just asked. 34% said no, and 14% didn't know, which means a lot of them might have already had an agreement. So where um, Beth says, yeah, I've worked with a lot of investors in the past who are not usually loyal. Oh my gosh, investors take a lot of our time, right? So... Agreements are something that is already standard in our industry, and it really should have been in Texas. We are required to have an agreement. So we want you, you know, it, it, this isn't something that's going to be a surprise to all of us. All right, next. Would um, a buyer use a real estate agent again or recommend that agent Congratulations, everybody. We have done an amazing job of satisfying our buyers. Literally, we, as an industry, we have done an incredible job of satisfying our buyers so much that over 76% of them would use us again. Now, remember, we looked at 34, maybe well over 50% of people had an agreement, so they had no problem signing an agreement prior to that. And so we have people that are willing to use an agent who already signed an agreement, which means that they'd have no problem signing a, an agreement again. So when we're having conversations with people who have already purchased a home, remember, they most likely signed some sort of agreement. A lot of times an agreement's necessary at the end of the transaction in order for it to go through compliance. So we know people are going to be using those agents again. And by the way, you all, what we're going to do now um, in a little while is we're going to talk about some of the ways of, of, of getting those buyers and, and bringing them in so that we can have those conversations. I should have asked this question. I, I don't know if you guys saw this, so maybe you didn't take a look at the, at the screen. So I'm going to ask the question, how many, <laughs> this is such a cheat, how many real estate agents were interviewed Right prior to the uh, prior to the buyer choosing them, interviewed, had a conversation with them, talked to them. How many, everybody? How many buyers would use? Uh, uh, how many um, how many agents were were interviewed? So you guys were being really uh, interactive, and then all of a sudden you slow down. Ten percent. How many agents were interviewed? 
One, K says one. You guys, I put it on the screen a second ago. Three, Chris says three, right? Z zero, we mean zero. Of course, they had to have at least one. They look at that, Kurt says only one, 65% of the time. Well, uh, Kurt, you were close, 67% of the time. In most cases, it's just one. And, and no, not average these days, Elizabeth. This is from the 2023 NAR Home Buyers and Sellers Generational Trends Report. And by the way, this was the exact same answer in 2002 and the exact same answer in 2001 and et cetera. So according to the NAR Home, <laughs> home, uh, uh, home Buyers and Sellers Generational Trends Report, one agent was interviewed. Well, what happens is when people start looking for homes for sale, when they start looking for a real estate agent, when they start looking for financing, the internet knows. The internet knows what they're doing. And the internet likes to then start to provide them with all kinds of information. It likes to provide them with tons of details and, and more resources than any person can, can handle. And I want you all to think about that. They're being inundated with just tons of, of, of opportunities to find that perfect home. Well, the reality is, is that we need to become that source so that our agents, so that we, uh, our agents and, and we are the first ones that, that buyers talk to. We have to become the source. So how, how do we do that? What are some ways of us, of us capturing uh, and then connecting with those, with those agents, I mean, with those, uh, with those buyers? Well, one is, of course, our website. You have to have a website that allows you to capture your leads, that allows you, if you're a team member, to have your team be able to share the listings that are available uh, through IDX or their own listings, for your team to be able to capture registrations and for those leads to come uh, directly to them. You have to have a website that allows you to show off your expertise and the things that you have. And the number one thing, according to NAR, that real estate agents wanted, needed, and desired from a real estate agent, the number one thing they wanted was the helping them find the right property. And that's it. Number one thing. Not in the negotiations, not helping them with the financing, understanding the process. A lot of us think that number one thing was getting them. And by the way, if you guys are... Um, uh, want more details on what we're showing you today, I'd love for you all to um, take out your phones right now and we're going to open up your text and you're going to text the number 59559. I actually have that down here uh, for you all. And I want you to put in the word platform and hit send. And the reason I want you to do that now is because you're going to see um, a little bit of what a tool that I'm going to show you here in, the, in, in just a little bit can do for you. Our website, sort of the best things I think about our websites is our lead capture opportunities. And we have um, some really cool tools available to help us to capture more buyers. And we're going to go over some of those really quick. And it's important that we have the right the right tools so that when our buyers are utilizing our services, they see us as the consummate professional that has the right tools and systems available to them. So the first is what we call the Brivity URL shortcut or forward slash share. This allows us to share any property or even a group of properties and capture uh, our leads that way instead of just sending them a single email or, or posting something on Facebook that is just a static page. When you post or your website uh, listings or any IDX listings on your website without a call to action, it's really just a convenience for someone to be able to get there and see. There's no, 
no forcing of a registration. So this will provide them with a picture and sometimes we can even remove the address. So it just shows the, the, a graphic of what they're gonna see. And to view the property, we just have to click and view further. We also have the opportunity for you to do this with a, um, with a list of uh, properties. For example, I live in Austin. It's hot in Austin. People love swimming pools and people love homes under 700,000. So we're going to do a string that says, hey, find all Austin homes in, um, in that have a swimming pool under 700K. When they click on it, they get to the list of results. Our other option is the um, another option is your open house uh, registration form. Hopefully you all are doing open houses. This is one of the best ways of capturing new buyers. And according to uh, uh, by the NAR settlement, we don't really have any details on the uh, what's happening with open houses. But I can promise you the moment that something is available, our team will um, have that form available that allows either that representation right to be captured or to provide that representation on some of our open house forms we actually have the ability for you to um we actually have the ability for you to uh, uh, ask if you they are working with an agent so we'll tell if they have uh, agency representation. That's currently in one of our registration forms. We have a lot of cool opportunities there. And by the way, there is the uh, text platform to 59559 right there um, on the bottom. I'd like for you guys to try that out so you can check out the tool that we're going to be talking about here uh, at the end of the session. Remember, I mentioned the number one thing. The number one thing that people want from an agent is for them to um, get the, the right listing, right? That perfect home at the perfect price in the perfect location. Well, what better way to do that than to send them listings proactively? Again, a lot of us will go into the MLS. Um, we will uh, find those listings in the MLS because the MLS allows us the opportunity to, to share those. And then we share them from the MLS. The calls to action that are included in there are going to probably come to your email address. Or maybe even there's no true call to action or proper call to action. One of the best things about sending listings from the Brevity CRM is that it drives them to your website. Every listing that we send to a new contact is a new opportunity for them to visit your website. So no, not only does it increase your visits and views, it keeps your website sticky. We're gonna talk about the app here in just a moment, uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, um, I'm happy to, to, to provide you with that. If you do, Elizabeth, this uh, platform to 59559, would be the exact thing you'd want to do right now. And open any questions on what you guys are seeing so far. All right. Everybody wants to receive that perfect home at the perfect price and the perfect location through a listing alert. And, and sometimes um, we hit the target and sometimes we don't. But we're not going to know unless we do that. One of the best things, again, that, that the listing alerts do, uh, our listing alerts do with a Brevity platform is it drives the visitor right to your website. So if they don't find the property that they're looking for, even if they do, um, and they want to view all area properties or the rest of the properties that might be available, it is a link. It is a, it's a direct connection to your website. And we have found many times um, through our um, a CRM that when people open the listing alert, their next activity, literally just minutes after they open that listing alert, is visiting your website. So then, of course, what can we do? We can then go and get, re gauge those visits and those views and readjust that listing alert. And it really gives us a great opportunity for an additional conversation. And that conversation would be, say, hey, I, I noticed that 
um, you are looking at this style and, and this, this range of properties in this area. And we actually have a listing alert sending you um, this information in an additional area. How about we make that change for you? Are there any other changes you'd like to see? Shows we're listening, we're providing them again with the, the property um, that, uh, that they're wanting, needing, and desiring. And Elizabeth, we were talking about the app. Okay, so according to the NAR, uh, the Generational Buyers and Sellers Trend Report, uh, it actually says 50% of all buyers um, are using an app. It's actually, I think it's long, higher than that because the, the group that drops that down are the old, older boomers. 50% of the older boomers are using an app for for search for searching for homes. 75% uh, of all other generations are uh, are um, using an app. So it's really a little bit higher. And by the way, those older boomers uh, trends grow every single year. So it will always increase. The reality is, is they're using your app. They're using an app. Why not use your app? This allows us to get into the back pocket of these buyers. Literally, wherever they go, we follow them along the tour. Our app allows you not only to search for all area properties, it allows you to find and filter out every open house, be able to run a calculator on every single property so you can determine the affordability of that home. Schedule on your own calendar any open houses uh, that are available. And it's an amazing seller's tool as well. So while we're talking to our buyers about the app, we're also able to drive sellers um, uh, to the app, uh, to, uh, to our app as well and, and get to know who might be a seller in our database that we're only talking to as a buyer. Everybody's using an app, make sure it's your app. Look, I told you all the things that this app does and, and, and here's the screen of, of those details. All right, our team likes to pivot very quickly. And what we've done is we've created some opportunities for you to be proactive in your approach in connecting with uh, contacts who want to know more about the agent buyer commissions. This is a great way of engaging buyers, capturing buyers, bringing them into your database and, and truly getting them already in agreement that they have to sign an agreement. Now, we have these um, just listed uh, uh, flyers that we've already created. You know, we've spent way too much time in our career being marketing and designing experts. And this will take away from that effort. So as you can see, we will pre-build your postcards and flyers and social posts. And we're able to create videos in just a matter of seconds. And this is just a small example of that. We're gonna bring all of the photos and all the details on these properties. We're gonna bring in the description and allow you to edit that description down so it's, it's, it, it's a digestible for a, a flyer. And we're going to put right in there the 3% buyer's agent commission so that we are letting our seller's agents know that we are offering that commission. The graphic in the middle is probably one of the most powerful graphics that we have available. I want you all to think about posting this in your social media channels. If you post this on your social media channels, then you are going to get people that are actually very curious about buyer agent commission changes. Because I'm going to ask you all this, if not only buyers might be interested in, in the details of the, of the buyer agent commission changes, who else might be interested in those questions that would be really valuable uh, for our database? Right? And, and, 
Elizabeth, thank you. Elizabeth comes in with sellers. Absolutely. So now we're engaging with sellers, popping this question out. It's one of the best ways to engage with them. And let's just jump in with both feet first so that we're ready to have this conversation. Now that you're working with your buyers, let's say we we engage the buyers through an open house. They they filled out that registration form. They came into our database. We uh, connected with them. We had that that agreement signed. And and by the way, I did tell you guys five tools. So I didn't want to give you too many, but I will throw in another one, which is our transactions system. And the transaction system is more imperative now than ever because it allows us to store the buyer transaction, a place to have our agreement and to know that that agreement um, is there, have the expiration available on that agreement so that we're minded about it. Uh, maybe even making sure that we're communicating to the buyer about signing the agreement. So we have all these cool uh, or, or additional agreements. So we have all these um, huge opportunities with transactions in staying connected and, and making sure we're not missing out on any uh, important dates or important information or important signatures. Brevity stages are what is going to allow us to know what that next step in a contact with the contact is going to be. Is, is this um, a person that we currently have an agreement with uh, as a buyer? Is this someone that we are, are nurturing or maybe they're hot that we have an appointment with? We have just a number of these different stages that will allow us to know exactly where a buyer is and when we need them to uh, create the agreement. Um, Elizabeth is asking, so it's like a dot loop within the website. Um, I would... I'm not going to exactly compare it to dot loop because it's not an e-signature tool, but it is a, a transact it had transaction storage management tool. And it allows us, yes, to manage our transactions within the website. The one thing that I would say we don't have is a is a signature uh, tool in there. But yeah, that's a great way to describe it, Elizabeth. Hopefully that answers your question. Keeping track of the stages is going to be very important for us so that we make sure that we stay in compliance. We have the tools to allow us to do that. And then the last tool I want to tell you guys about is capturing buyers with quickly. This is going to uh, be a uh, this is going to be the ability for you all to capture walk by, drive by or bike by buyers, uh, just in general traffic. This is going to uh, be on a signage sitting outside of your listing. So first thing is someone drives by and they see the sign um, that says, hey, if you want to see the price and the photos of this listing, um, text, um, and put in the, the word, and in my example, name of my team is the dream key team so put in dream key um, and and send that to 59559 then the system will through gps it'll locate a pinpoint of doo -doo, it'll find exactly where their location is and will then provide them with the link that says hey do you want to see a particular house like the one you're standing in front of or would you like to see a list of all the houses that are available in the area and it will provide them a list of the five closest properties and then lastly we're going to get the details from our uh from from uh, quickly we're going to get the number and the name of that contact and that's one of the best parts about it is we're getting a real phone number and we're going and capturing that caller id and bringing that in so what I'd like you all to do is I'd like you to test out that quickly tool by um, going to the going to your phone, pull out your phones, if you will, and take out your SMS and you're going to text the word and I'll bring it right here. You're going to text the word platform to five nine five five nine so you can learn a little bit more about the Brivity platform. 
And some other things that we do uh, with the with the uh, with your as a Brivity uh, subscriber is you can join us in weekly calls where we bring in experts, uh, real estate coaches from some of the top uh, real estate coaching uh, teams, and they will help you to better understand what is happening in the industry, how to uh, follow and find and 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 have more um, more be able to to fight off those objections that that come to us and uh and just really give us a a, a huge opportunity um to better engage and and learn what we need to in our um in this amazing business all right hey hopefully you guys learned a lot today what questions do you have we still have a couple of minutes i really appreciate you guys here don't forget to Text the word platform to 59559. All right. Well, I appreciate you all being here. I look forward to seeing you all the next time. Thanks for spending your 30 minutes with me today. Bye-bye.